Hi guys, in this video I'm going to make a test on these LED lights that I bought last April 18, 2022. As you probably know, LED lights are the newest evolution in energy saving lights, producing such high amount of illumination or brightness for very little input power. For example, this Osram LED Echo Classic LED bulb rated at 9 watts is supposedly equal in brightness to a 75 watt incandescent bulb. It is small wonder that LED lights are very popular and are intensively used in industries, commercial establishments and also in our homes. But I have also read that LED lights have very low power factor and produce harmonics. So what I'm going to do in this experiment is test each of these lamps for their power, current, power factor, and harmonics. For that purpose, I would need a sophisticated uh, instrument to measure power, power factor, and harmonics all at the same time. Fortunately, I have a uh, Hioki CM328601 AC clamp power meter. This instrument can measure power as little as 5 watts and up to a maximum of 360 kilowatts. It can also measure milliampere current down to 60 milliamperes. This AC clamp power meter has a lot of features, but for the purpose of my test here, I'm going only to use the watts function of the CM328601. This is how I will measure the power going to the individual LED lamps. This is the outlet and the power cord of the lampshade will be connected in one of the outlets here. In the lampshade, I will install the LEDs later on on this lampshade. For the AC uh, clamp power meter, I will clamp one of the conductors with the correct orientation in order to measure current and for the voltage, I will insert its voltage probes in one of the outlets, which is parallel to the power supply cord of the lampshade. In this manner, the AC clamp power meter will be able to measure power, power factor, and even harmonics. In order to better visualize the parameters that I am going to measure, I will use what is called the Hioki Genect Cross App. I will only briefly touch about this app because this requires a much more detailed discussion about it. Right now, I have downloaded the app which is freely downloadable on Google Play Store. This is the interface of the Genect Cross App. Once opened, it will try to search and connect to a uh, compatible Bluetooth device, and in this case, my CM3286-01. The Genect Cross App is now connected by Bluetooth to the CM3286-01, and we are now ready to take measurements. Let's try first the Philips MyCare 12W LED bulb. I will use the general measurement function in the menu of the Genet Cross App. Right now we are seeing the various parameters that I will monitor. Power, power factor, voltage and current. Let's switch on the lampshade. The red light is flashing on both the instrument and the Genect Cross App interface, this indicates that my connection of the CM3286-01 has reverse polarity and that is the voltage. So now for the Philips 
mic air 12 watt LED bulb its power is exactly 12 as measured by the instrument and streamed real time to the up the power factor is 0 0.6 to 0 voltage at 227 and current at 85 milliamperes one of the most notable features of the Genect cross up with a compatible electrical measuring device is that it brings the usefulness of the instrument to a whole new level for example here I will use the harmonics analysis function in order to visualize the current being measured by the instrument the Genect cross up not only displays the tabulated text of the harmonic orders it also shows the graphical representation and the waveform of the current. Let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, the waveform of the current being drawn by the LED light is highly nonlinear. It draws current in pulses. That is because the electronics inside the lamp rectify AC current to DC in order to drive the LED. The THDF or the total harmonics distortion as percent of the fundamental is given at 98.61 while the THD of the RMS waveform is 69.44. The harmonics distortion values are quite high because the current waveform is highly nonlinear. It does not look like a sine wave at all. To provide a bit of a context, let's look at the waveform of the voltage. Here we can see that the waveform of the voltage looks more like a sine wave, although not really a perfect sine wave. It does have some harmonics distortion at THDF of 5.39% which is the same as THDR at 5.4%. Let's test the GES 12 Watt B-Bright LED bulb. By the way, I just like to point out that I will not be testing the illumination of these lamps, just the electrical parameters. The Genet cross up shows 12 Watt power 0.686 power factor at 228 volts and 75 milliamperes. Let's try and look now at the harmonics of the GES B bright light bulb. Looking at the table of the harmonics orders, the greatest or the highest harmonic order is the third harmonic at 75.67%. The appearance of the waveform of current for the GES LED bulb is nearly the same or almost the same looking as the waveform of the current for the Philips LED bulb. The current waveform being drawn by the Firefly LED bulb looks exactly like the waveform of the other two light bulbs. The device picks up 8 watts at 0.656 power factor, 228 volts and 56 milliamperes. I will test the Akari LED Premier bulb and the Omni LED light off camera and just tabulate the results. At this point, I think the following takeaways can be said. The LED lights are indeed very powerful and efficient sources of light, producing high amounts of brightness for very little input power. However, they do indeed have low power factor and harmonics distortion. For residential customers, power factor and harmonics distortion are not significant enough to be included in the electric bill, since residential customers are only built on the energy 
or kilowatt hour that has been used and some other items on the electric bill. But for large commercial and industrial customers who uses hundreds if not thousands of these LED lights in various forms, then power factor and harmonics can become significant and have to be dealt with. They can impact the electric bill and the electric supply system. If you have any comments, corrections or suggestions, please write them down below. Thank you for watching.